Oh, hello, hello. Welcome back to another lesson. In this lesson, we will take a look at how to delete the contacts we've added. In our previous lesson, we looked at persisting our data in the local storage using Redux Persist. Today, we will try to delete uh, some of our contacts. So how do we do that? Okay, let's go right into the code. So we will go into our actions. Let's first go into our action types and add a delete action type. So delete contact. Make sure we delete contact. Now that we've defined our action type, we go into our action. So our actions and then define a delete action creator. So delete contact. Now we want to pass just the key. The key we define when creating it. Sorry, uh, this is supposed to be key. Yeah. So the key we defined during the creation, we want to pass that key and use that key to do the deletion. So what we will do is we will pass that key to as the payload to our reducer and change the type here to delete contact. So if imported and then use that here. Let's go into our reducer. All right, so let's create another case for delete contact. And what we will do with the delete of contact is we want to filter the all contact and remove that particular um, contact by ID. So we're going to pass a new array and no, instead of passing a new array, what we will do is we are going to filter our existing contact and then filter it by giving the new uh, the our contact uh, or a uh, returning contact whose ID or whose key in this case is not the one we are passing. So where contact dot key, it's not equal to the payload dot, sorry, the payload itself. So actions dot payload, sorry, action dot payload. So you see in the action, we pass the key directly. So we reference it. So action.payload, so the payload is a key and we are looking for um, contact whose key is not equal to the payload and then return that back. So the one that has that key we are passing, that one will not be added. And the new data in our uh, Redux store will be the filtered version. So let's go ahead and inside our um, app inside the map dispatch to props we are going to add a delete contact delete contact to it and this one will accept just the key and then we will dispatch the one from the action uh, actual action and pass that ID to it. Sorry, key. I keep missing this. All right. So now that we've added it, we can reference it as a prop. So let's reference it here. Yeah. So where do we put this? Where do we put? Where do we call this delete contact and pass a ID to it? So we can add a third column to it where instead of uh, 
passing um, or instead of referencing some data we would rather do some mm, some some nice uh, stuff to render a custom component let's look at the documentation and see how it's done so and design let's look at the table and uh, let's look at um, this example and see how it's been done so we see that this one has the key still the key but it has a render where uh, a custom render uh, or custom uh, uh, HTML was added so let's copy this and modify it in our code so it does it and uh, okay action that's okay the key will be action that's nice then the record is there is that particular record so it will reference that, uh, that particular records first name last name phone number and then key so what we would do is we will rather add a button here and then the button will be an icon button so let's provide uh, an icon and the icon that we will add will be a delete icon Let, let's import it so delete outline let's use that icon and then we will use that here so let's check it out and see if it works so there we go we have it now i will also like us to do something let's check out the documentation for button and see whether there is a way to remove the outline so i think we can give it a type of link so that it removes the outline for us um if you look at the uh properties there is no way of doing just removing the outline um, for now so let's use the type link which will render it, render it as a link so type link and we should only see the delete icon i think this it is okay yeah let's let's bring let's bring the outline back that feels a little more when you click you you get that that splash yeah so let's add uh, our um on click to it and what we want to do with this on click is that we want to call the delete contact and pass that particular record key to it now let's go and then test it out and see Anyway, so let me click this and it worked it, it deleted our contact let's add plenty other contacts and then delete them okay let's reload and we get the same number of let's delete until There is nothing let's reload and there is nothing let's add one contact and let's reload and then just one so we've been able to achieve <coughs> a deletion of uh, contact in the next lesson we will look at editing of contact